Uh, hello there and uh, welcome to my new video. In this video I am going to show you how to get uh, current uh, date and time and how to format uh, those values here. So inside the main activity we are going to create date uh, object and we are going to use a calendar to get the current uh, time and date. So let's uh, log those uh, information inside our uh, log here. Uh, let's run our application and open a log cat here. And as you can see, this is the values which we uh, got from our uh, uh, calendar object. So we have a day, month, uh, year, time and time zone. Okay, so let's now format that uh, those values a little bit. So we're going to use date format uh, object and we're going to get instance and we're going to format our current time. So let's store uh, those informations inside the new string variable. Let's name that uh, format uh, formatted date, for example. Okay, and now let's uh, create one more log, and we're going to pass formatted date here. So let's run our application and check it out. Okay, as you can see inside the second uh, log, we have a November 25, 2019. So uh, it's pretty shorter and uh, well formatted. But uh, we can pass uh, one more parameter inside the get uh, date instance here. So uh, there are already pre made presets. So, as you can see, am field, hour field, uh, full, default, long, and so on. Uh, we are going to use a full this time and let's uh, open up our application. As you can see, we got uh, the day, Monday, uh, November 25 month, and year all separated by a comma. And why is that important? Well, because we can separate uh, this uh, one string into into three different strings using a trim uh, method. So let me show you how that works. Okay, so we're going to create um, a new string uh, array here named uh, split, split date. Okay, and we're going to use formatted data to uh, split this uh, string. So as a regular expression parameter, we're going to pass a comma. And uh, that's it. So uh, when we want to log in uh, here um, inside my log, we will type uh, split date and uh, inside the brackets we're going to choose a position. So uh, the first one will be day, Monday. The second one will be uh, November 25 and the third one will be uh, year. So they are counted by from 0 to 2 and as you can see we have three different strings Monday, November 25 and 2019 so basically we are uh, we are getting those informations uh, in three different strings so it will be easier for us to uh, create a better uh, uh, layout here so let me show you we are going to create three different text views for month, day and year and I'm going to format those uh, UI elements a little bit so let me show you I'm going to for example increase the text size for each of those uh, for example the month will be 4 SP with a text style of bold uh, the day will be just a 24 SP and the year will be 24 SP as well so now let me just connect all those constraints and uh, all those uh, text views the way I want So uh, the biggest uh, text view with, uh, will represent uh, month, which is November. And um, okay, and the year should be on the right side of, of uh, the month, and the day will be just below that. So let's connect the left and top constraint to the first text view. And uh, for the second text view, we're going to do the same: left and top constraint connected to the main, uh, the biggest text here. Okay, like that, and we can add a constraint to zero here, left constraint to 60, and I think it's uh, fine for now. When we move this first text, those two texts will move as well, because they are connected to our first text view. Okay, so let's uh, open up an application and check it out how it looks. We can uh, modify this layout a little bit later. But before that, let's first create two, uh, three text view objects here and let's find the ID of each of those.
I'm just going to change the, the values here. So day and year. Okay. And uh, now let's uh, run our application. And first let's set the text here uh, between those log files, log lines here. Okay. So let's uh, set the text for the month. In this case month is uh, the second in the string array, so the position is one. And uh, the day uh, is the first position, which is actually a zero in the string array. And here, of course, it's third and uh, position number two. Okay, now let's uh, run our application and check it out. So as you can see, we got uh, that right. It looks very nice. We can even uh, update this look a little bit. Okay. And we can change uh, a little bit more. And now it looks better. So that's it for this tutorial. I uh, showed you how to get the data and how to format that as well. And even how to implement that in your uh, layout file to look uh, better. And uh, that was it for this video. Uh, please like this video if you find it helpful, of course. And uh, see you in the next video.